Hello, my name is Lee Sterry and I'm a children's author and publisher. It saddens me during these Covid times that hospitals, doctor surgeries, nurseries and schools have been not able to have paperback books in case it can spread Covid. So, I've taken on an initiative to republish my stories into A3 and A4 laminated format. This is so that these copies can be placed onto the walls of the hospital wards or the waiting rooms. So if you would like to sponsor a copy for an organisation that's close to your heart, then go to the GoFundMe site and in, your, in the comments, please put uh, which copy of my stories you would like to donate and also which organisation you would like a copy to go to. And I will try and get as many of these out as possible so that we can have stories on walls. There are nine books that you can choose from in this new laminated A3 or A4 format. The first three are the Adventures on Honeybee Farm series and consists of Doily the Dormouse, who is the best door maker in town, but how does he make a door that isn't round? Or perhaps the escape pig, who's always escaping from his pen. And then the Buttercup game follows the story of Grady Gray, who loves to visit Nana with his mum. But when Anna starts forgetting things, how will he still have fun? Or you can choose from the Community Book series, where the Hidden Elephants of Leamington Spa was illustrated by children um, all over Leamington. There are around 500 pieces of artwork that went into this story. And it's about the elephants that used to live in Leamington Spa. Or perhaps the Book Hob, which was done in conjunction with Kenilworth Books and illustrated by children all across Kenilworth. It's about the Book Hob who jumps in and out of books to learn about hedgehogs and how he can help them. And the third one in this series is The Secret to Staying Young, sponsored by Barchester Care Homes, where Grandad Reg doesn't want to go into a care home. He's far too young. But Effie's heard about this amazing place that is full of adventures. Will it be enough to change his mind? And the school project series, where these projects have been done in conjunction with schools, where school children write and illustrate the story under my guidance. These consist of The Unique Unicorn, which was written by Sydenham Primary School, and is about a unicorn that wishes upon a star she goes on an incredible journey and learns to celebrate why she is different. And Mission to Marshmallow Moon. When planet Jibby Jobby is under threat from a huge asteroid, the Jibby Jobbians have to find a way to leave the planet. Just how will they do it? And then Harry Bishop and a Time Traveller. Upon discovering a Time Traveller, Harry tries to avoid going to his new school by going back in time. But his journey is not quite as fun as he expects. <laughs>